Hi guys, today, guys. Today um, I'm going to do an unboxing of Warhammer Underworld Shade Spire. I picked this up today. It's still wrapped and I'm going to unpack it right now. So let's see what's inside. So it looks like this is the board, put this to the side for a second and we have a rule book, figures, and cards. This says extra cards and this says blood reavers, oh here, the liberators, some dice. And some advertisement for Age of Sigma, which we already play, so we don't need that. <coughs> so let's have a look at some models first. The the corn blood reavers. They look pretty detailed for um, snap fit models, and I think it's uh, they're going to be nice to paint. Next we have the Stormcast Eternals. With some nice scenic uh, stuff for the base. And these bases actually look pretty nice. So I'll open up uh, no, I'll open up the rule book first. This is the how to build. It shouldn't be a big problem, I suppose. And a quick, a quick start sheet. Information about how to quickly get into the game. The rule book, some nice uh, story about what happened before in the city. Shadespire was once a city of wonder and magic, a mercantile metropolis. Rising from the unforgiving earth of the realm of death. Oh, that, that. The races. Some stormcast eternals and uh, blood reavers, of course, which were in the which are in the starter box. We see some orcs here. The undead. Dwarden, Dwarves, and uh, Skaven. So, I think there will be more um, war bands out in the future. So the list of contents and the core rules. Cards. And this has extra cards. So as far as I understand, you can add these cards to the 
other decks later on if you um, want to add more dimension to the game. There's race specific items on here or um, cards, not items. So, and this is the Blood Weaver deck and the Liberator deck. I'll open the Liberator deck first. Let's see what's in here. This is uh, the, the character cards. With the other side. In certain circumstances their stats change. Objective cards. are ability cards. And so far it all has a really nice look to it. Leaves us to the board. Actually quite curious on how big this board is. It's two boards apparently. Oh wow, that's nice. So it's two double sided boards to play on. And they look really nice and they, they feel really nice and they feel sturdy. And I don't know if you can see it but there's no ugly edges to the cardboard. And then there's three sheets of push out tokens. Oh, there goes one. I'll need to get through the rules first before I know what, what's what, but that'll be alright. Yeah, this really, really looks nice. Looking forward to, uh, to play a game. And then I also picked up the Iron Skull Boys. This might actually be the reason why I bought this whole game in the first place. So first we have the models. It's a Warband of Four. And these orcs really look nice. A lot of detail on them. I think I'll be having a lot of fun painting these. And then we have the cards. I'm not gonna open these right now, but it's the, the same principle as the, uh, the other card text, I suppose. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. Also, comment on what I can improve on my videos. I'd really like to know that and like to hear that. 